What is up you guys, it is a beautiful Monday morning. We have almost 30 things going out today that we've sold on eBay over the weekend. So in this video, we're gonna get all those orders pulled, packed, and shipped out. And I'll also go over some pretty commonly asked questions that we get asked about our home-based eBay business. Stick around. This is by far the best part about working from home. We just get to hang out in the yard, play with our dog. What is it, like 11 o'clock in the morning right now? And we're just, now. it's 12 now, lunchtime. I've already played golf today. Haley's you know, worked out, went to the grocery store, and it's it's just, it's awesome being able to work from home, be your own boss, you know, make your own your own money. You know, it's that's by far the best part about, about this whole eBay thing. So let's jump into the orders going out today. I do wanna tell you guys that our eBay inventory storage area does not normally look like this. We have had so many problems with these plastic shoe shelves. Obviously we have a lot of shoes for sale. We sell a lot of shoes, uh, but these plastic shoe shelves just do not hold up. We tried bolting them to the wall recently when they fell the last time. And as you can see, that didn't really, <laughs> didn't really do anything. So I think our next move is gonna be to get more of these wire shelves and just get more bins, put those on this wall and just keep our shoes uh, in the bins, maybe sort them by colors or, or something like that. Cause these, these shelves are not cutting it. So I'm gonna show you guys this. This is our eBay home screen. Let's refresh the number. So we've got 28 things going out today and we have a total of 317 active listings. And in the last 90 days, we've sold 597 oh. things for a total of $21,849 and 41 cents. Hey Mose, did you have something you wanted to add? Mose wanted to be in the video. Oh, of course. He's a little star. <laughs> Uh, now, of course, this is not all profit. This is just our total gross sales amount, our gross revenue. For us personally, as well as most of our reseller friends, we operate at about a 50% profit margin. So if you have $20,000 in 90-day sales, that means we've probably made about $10,000 in the last 90 days in actual you know, net profit taxable income. Uh, sometimes it varies. Maybe it's as low as like 40 to 45%. Maybe it's as high as 55 to 60%. But 50% on average is, is about what we see. And, and again, about what most of my colleagues in the, the reseller industry see as well. Just in case you guys haven't seen our videos before, this is our dog slash new goods inspector. Every time we bring new stuff home, he is the first one to sniff it out and make sure it's it's good to go. He's done a great job. Uh, I wish he could sniff out some better shoe racks for us. And this, of course, is my beautiful wife, Haley. She has uh, recently joined me full time. I've been doing eBay for about two and a half years or so, and she recently quit her job to join me in the eBay and YouTube business. So we are super excited to, to go into this full force heading into Q3 and Q4 of this year. Uh, but like I said, we've got 28 things going out today, so let's get to work. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly since we have so many orders, just to give you guys an idea of what kind of stuff we sell. This is a pair of women's foot joy golf shoes. We picked these up at a thrift store probably six months ago. We paid $6.50 for these, and they sold for $25 free shipping. Next thing is a video game. It should be, it's the other Grand Theft Auto, right? The Vice City. It should be the green edge one, the one on top, maybe. Yeah, that one. That was in a... Uh, the last flea market thing i think we got in the in the last flea market video posted i don't know how much i have in it maybe two or three dollars um we bought a lot of video games and there was really like two or three sealed ones in there that i was interested in and all these were just lower value this one sold for 14.99 free shipping not a ton of profit but video games sell super fast this sold in less than 24 hours for us next time is right here in the j bin as it should be this is a set of mississippi state bulldogs golf Head covers. Picked these up at the flea market recently for $5 and these sold for $20 free shipping. I originally had these listed for like $26.99. Uh, $20 free shipping. We're not going to make a ton of money because they're going to cost probably $8 or $9 to ship out at the minimum. Uh, but we're happy to be moving some stuff out. Anytime you have... I, I don't know. Like occasionally in the eBay side of business, you're going to buy stuff that just isn't that profitable and so it's always best to just you know accept offers move some stuff out get what money back you, that you have in it back and so you could use that money to buy better faster selling items later on this one's over here in the y bin y file it's one of these chargers sony p dill p dill 100 that's it Haley actually listed this one oh, the yeah. other day she's getting really good at listing stuff this was just a random charging cord we found in a big box of stuff we bought at the flea market recently and this one sold eight dollars free shipping it's probably gonna cost about three dollars or so to ship out next up is another pair of shoes this is a pair of nike air max running shoes fairly good condition they are missing insoles have a lot of those like little beads stuff down there from like some of my socks the only bad part about these is that they are missing the size tag. We couldn't decide for sure what size they were, so that really hurt the value. These sold for $28 
free shipping. If these were in a little bit better condition with insoles and a legible size tag, we probably could have got about 50 for them or so. But again, moving some stuff out. Next up is another pair of shoes. We obviously sell, sell a lot of shoes. Picked these up in the very last YouTube video I posted. Uh, these were $6.50 at Goodwill. Got them listed for like $74. And I didn't really know if they were worth that. I just couldn't find sold comps. I got multiple offers for like 30 bucks pretty pretty quickly. Uh, then somebody sent me an offer of $45 free shipping and I just went ahead and accepted that. We're trying to move out a lot of our shoe inventory right now because um, obviously <laughs> we have a shoe catastrophe on our hands. So turn a 650 into 45 free shipping. They'll cost about nine bucks to ship out. Not too bad. Next item's over here in the X file and it is this uh, Bearcat scanner. This is a... Uh, I don't know, unit in some kind of scanner. I got it at the Goodwill bins. I do not, I didn't test it. I don't have an electric cord for it, a power cord or anything like that. So I just listed as is untested unit only. It sold for $15 free shipping. We paid about 50 cents for this and it'll cost about six, $7 or so to ship out. Next item's up here in this little box of video games. It's right here on top. It's the Mario versus Donkey Kong for Nintendo DS. Uh, actually, somebody sent me a big box of free stuff. They were a viewer of the YouTube channel, and they just said they had a bunch of stuff they pulled out of a friend's uh, storage unit, uh, and they were just trying to get rid of it. So they sent me a huge, just a huge box of free stuff. So we have nothing into this, uh, and it sold for 12 bucks free shipping. Another one of our little Sony chargers sold. I believe it's this one right here, the Sony CECH-ZAC2. Yeah, that one right there. This one sold for $14.99 free shipping. It'll cost about $3 or so to ship out. And again, we got this in a big box of random electronics that we bought at the flea market. So we have, I don't know, probably like 25 cents or so into this. Got another pair of shoes down here. This is a pair of men's Echo slip-on shoes. Echo is a pretty good brand. I usually look for their golf shoes. These are not golf shoes. These are just casual walking shoes, really modern, you know, leather brown leather looking shoes though, but these sold for $24 plus shipping. Next are down here under the <laughs> under the pile of collapsed shoes. This is a pair of Nike, um, I think these are the Air Dion Sanders. We picked these up at the flea market for five bucks a couple weeks ago. Uh, these sold for $40 plus shipping. We could have got a little bit more money for them, but these were, and they it looked to be in good condition at first, but they ended up having a little bit of like peeling uh, along the leather uppers. So uh, I disclosed that in the listing and somebody sent me an offer of 40 bucks plus shipping. Went ahead and took that. Another pair of shoes right here. This is a pair of men's Asics running shoes. I've really stayed away from Asics recently. I've just haven't, haven't had a lot of luck with them, uh, but this was a pair of men's running shoes in a, a bigger size. These are like a 13, I think. Uh, no, these are 11.5. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm talking about. These sold for $35 for uh, uh, free shipping. Uh, and we have about $6.50 into these. So uh, again, A6, I just haven't had a lot of luck with those. Another pair of shoes right here, Brooks, uh, women's Brooks running shoes, GTS 13 or something. G yeah, GTS 13, uh, 650 into these and they sold for $28 free shipping. Next item's over here in the W file. It's this Craftsman do-it-yourself project calculator. I paid, I think, $5 for this at the flea market a couple weeks ago. And this sold for a grand total of $21.50 free shipping. Next time going out is a golf club over here. We're looking for a Mizuno four iron. I believe it's this one right here. This is uh, part of that set that we picked up at the pawn shop the other day for 200 bucks out the door. Uh, I decided to list all the clubs individually. It was a whole set of these JPX 900s, uh, a five wood, a couple wedges and a putter. And so far we've sold like six, six or seven of these clubs. This one sold for $60 plus shipping. Again, we paid 200 bucks for the whole set of like 13 clubs. Uh, so we are already in the profit on this haul. Definitely look out for golf clubs at pawn shops. You can find some good deals sometimes. Next item is another DS game up here. I believe it is this one, Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Again, part of that box of free stuff that a viewer sent us to sell. Uh, $0 into that. It's new sealed, never been open. Uh, and this one sold for $17.99 free shipping. Got another video game. I believe it should be up here it's uh this one right here this nhl 2k10 picked up picked this up in the flea market bundle the other day this is the new sealed one never been opened not a lot of value here though this one i believe sold 
for $17.99 free shipping. We have, again, about maybe two or $3 into this. So still making a little bit of money, but with a sealed game, I thought it was gonna be worth a little bit more. Next item is in the W file over here. It's this Google Chromecast Ultra 4K. Again, $0 into this as it was in that box of stuff. Uh, and sold for $47.99, free shipping. Next item is down here in the V bin, and it is the little Casio battery powered keyboard. We picked this up at the Goodwill bins uh, last week, week and a half ago. Paid about 50 cents for it, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next item's right here in the T bin. This one's pretty interesting. This is a lot of, ooh, about to, about to drop it. A lot of two of these scrubbing bubbles, shower automatic refills. Oh, uh, where's the other one? here this stuff is discontinued so you definitely will be on the lookout for it if you can find it at like an old grocery store or an old pharmacy or something like that uh, we have about two dollars each into these and the two packs sold for fifty nine dollars and ninety eight cents plus uh, no free shipping free shipping on this next items over here in the x file again and it is this timer thing we picked these up at the goodwill bins uh, the other day for about i think it was like 25 cents electronics are 50 cents per pound uh, and this is maybe not even 25 cents worth of weight in electronics this one sold for 19 dollars 99 free shipping only took about a week or so to sell next item is right here in the s bin it's this sega genesis 16 bit picked this up at the flea market the other day for five bucks i have no idea if it works i just listed as is untested uh, I didn't want to go through the hassle of finding cords and testing it, uh, but it's still sold for $19.99 free shipping. This should be able to just get bubble wrapped and put in a padded flat rate envelope and should ship for about $8. Next up is another pair of shoes. This is a pair of men's palladium shoes. Never heard of these before. Picked these up at Goodwill for $6.50 just because they were in such good condition, like barely used. These sold for $28.00 free shipping over here in the w file is our next item this is a wii rock band dongle i got this at the flea market got three of these at the flea market recently for a dollar each uh, and this is the last one to sell the other two have already sold and they've all sold for 24.99 free shipping next item up is a hat this is a uh, vintage nascar like trucker mesh back hat this one sold for 25 dollars plus shipping to a viewer named Michael from Lexington, Kentucky. He also, uh, I, I told him I'd throw in a couple other items in my store that he was interested in, but I don't remember what those were offhand. So I'll have to, to find those items. But Michael, thank you for the support. Hope you enjoy the hat. We paid, I don't know, probably like a dollar for it or so and sold for 25 bucks plus shipping. Next item is over here in the Z-Bin. This is where I keep all my golf club head covers. We've sold a lot of those over the last couple months. This one, if, it, if I can get it unattached here, this is a Callaway XR Hybrid uh, head cover. It's an adjustable for a three, four or five, whatever. Uh, this one sold for $17.99. Free shipping, we paid about $2 for this. And the last item going out today from eBay is this Babolat tennis bag. We got this at the Goodwill Bins a couple months ago, two or three months ago. We can get it out of here, Jeez, Louise. Probably paid about a dollar, dollar fifty for this, and it sold for $14.50 plus shipping. So I'm in the office right now. We're gonna try to get all this stuff packed up pretty quickly and get sent out today. But anytime I show you guys that I'm selling small items like this, this is that Sony charger that sold for $8 free shipping. I always get some people that are like, why are you wasting your time with stuff like this like it can't be worth your time to list this um, but again this was just in a big box of stuff we got at the flea market we didn't like go out of our way to buy this we were just trying to recoup some of our money it took I don't know probably 30 to 45 seconds to you know get the rubber band wrapped around it and get it listed on eBay um, and again it sold for eight dollars free shipping to ship something like this I'm just gonna grab one of these poly mailers like this and just throw it in here throw it in here with a uh, with a thank you card slot it on in there and we're good to go i mean the thank you card signing was <laughs> the longest part of that shipping process so yeah it only sold for eight dollars free shipping but it just doesn't take a lot of work to get it processed when i'm looking for items to sell on ebay i'll sell small stuff like this that i'm only going to make you know three or four bucks in profit on as long as it doesn't take a lot of time and effort to process it all the way through from listing to fulfillment we also get asked a lot why we sell so many shoes I and mean, i think we have i don't know seven or eight pairs going out today and the answer is we just like it like Haley is really good at like finding and cleaning shoes uh, i mean they're easy for us to to find they're super cheap at our goodwills and thrift stores here uh, and it's just something that's I don't know, plentiful in our area. We don't mind cleaning them. We don't mind shipping them. Shipping's super easy. We just throw them in one of these priority mail shoe, shoe boxes and they're on their way. So that's why we shall sell a bit, a bit. <laughs> 
that's why we sell shoes. You don't have to sell shoes if you don't want to. If you don't like it, that's fine. But for us, it, it works. We also get asked a good bit where we get our shipping supplies from, and the answer is either eBay, Amazon, or USPS.com. So I'll show you a couple of the more commonly used things that we have here. Um, I've got these big padded envelopes. These are for... Uh, like mainly books, uh, books that, that go media mail. We don't really use those a ton because um, they're about the same size as the padded flat rate envelopes from USPS.com. We use a lot of those. We use a lot of these um, eBay boxes. These are eight by six by four. Um, we get those in like packs of 50 for like 35 bucks or so. Also use these eBay, uh, eBay 10 by eight by six boxes a good bit. Uh, we've got some smaller padded envelopes. These are like nine by seven. Got all the uh, priority mail boxes down here, 1095s, 1092s, and 1097s. We've got priority mail shoe boxes there and priority mail um, medium mailing tubes for golf clubs. And that's pretty much it. Bubble wrap, we use uh, all of our bubble wrap comes from AmericanBubbleBoy.com. I'll have a link to them in the description of this video. If you need bubble wrap, they're great. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. Most of it comes from, you know, all the, all the stuff that has the red and white and blue comes from USPS.com for free. Uh, and everything that has eBay on it comes from eBay. And everything that doesn't have eBay on it, which I don't even think we have any. I think these are some poster boxes that I got from Amazon back there. But but yeah, everything, it, it if whatever it has on it, that's where it came from. All right, you guys, so we got everything packed up and ready to go to the post office over here. I wanted to show you what this looks like because we can arrange all these boxes in a fancy formation and take a picture of it and post it on Instagram without any context. And people may assume that we've made a couple thousand dollars in, in this weekend. I mean, with all these packages, surely there's thousands of dollars in profit. And obviously you guys saw the items. We know that's not true. So now I wanna give you guys a full financial breakdown of this weekend's sales to cover the cost of goods and all expenses associated with these sales. And and show you exactly how much money we get to keep in our pockets after all those expenses are accounted for. So I told you guys at the beginning of this video that we had 28 things going out, but actually one of those sold on Thursday, last Thursday, and I just didn't send it out on Friday because I couldn't find a box in time. So I'm just gonna count the 27 things that we sold this weekend. And between those 27 items, we had a total gross sales amount on eBay of $726.77. If we take that gross sales amount and divide it by the number of items we sent out, which is 27, we would get an average selling price of $27.95 per item. This is slightly below average for us. Our store as a whole typically stays around $35 average selling price. So this weekend was a little bit slower than usual, but definitely a, a pretty good weekend overall. The first thing we have to take out of our gross sales amount in terms to you know get down to our net profit would be our eBay fees. And for us, we usually end up paying about 12.5% of our total gross sales amount for eBay fees. And that amount would be $90 dollars and 84 cents. The next thing we have to take out is our total shipping costs. This is how much it actually costs us to ship out all 27 items today. And that amount would be $192.10. Next thing we have to take out is our total cost of goods sold. This is how much we actually had to spend on the items to buy them to be able to sell them on eBay. And that amount for all 27 items you saw today would be $94.75. Now once we account for all three of these expenses coming out of our gross sales amount, we are left with a net profit from our eBay sales this weekend of $349.08, which is about, I don't know, like $118 a day or something like that. Of course, we still have to pay income taxes on this net profit. That would be about another 25% or so. And this also doesn't include miscellaneous expenses like shipping supplies and, and paper and, and all that kind of stuff. So that all adds up and definitely comes into play later on. But for the purposes of today's video, I'm just not going to go into that. So we were at like 117, 118 bucks per day in, in profit before taxes and miscellaneous expenses. So let's go ahead and call it 100 bucks per day even. 300 bucks between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in actual profit, money back in our pocket from our eBay business. So 300 bucks in profit for one weekend of eBay sales, that, that's certainly not bad at all. But for us, you know, full-time husband and wife reseller team, that's pretty low. If we only had reselling income to, to live off of, that would be a pretty tight lifestyle because not only do we have our normal you know, mortgage and food and gas and stuff. But when you're self-employed, especially both husband and wife, now we have to pay self-employment taxes and we have to pay out of pocket for health insurance and, and things like that really add up very quickly. So for us, it was kind of a slower weekend, 300 bucks in a weekend, especially with 27 things going out was kind of slow, but there's a few different things to consider. Last week, Haley was actually out of town at a church camp. So she was not home helping me in the business at all. And to be honest with you guys, my focus last week was mainly on the YouTube channel. We did three videos last week and that just took a lot of my time. I probably worked 
maybe four to six hours last week combined on the reselling side of things, not including shipping shipping orders. I, that, I don't count that. But in terms of like looking at the store and listing new items and, you know, trying to increase sales, probably like closer to four hours, four hours for the entire week. So the fact that we could still sell 27 things over the weekend and make 300 bucks in, in actual profit in our pocket from a week where both of us together worked four hours, that, that's pretty cool. I wanna be as transparent as possible with you guys about this business because I feel like a lot of you watching maybe want to pursue full-time reselling at some point in the future if you haven't already. And for us, if you've watched the channel, you know we have the YouTube side of things and the reselling side of things. And I've been pretty transparent with you guys in the past that we have really focused a lot on the YouTube side of things versus the reselling side of things. In terms of income, we probably average about $3,500 to $4,000 per month in actual profit from the eBay side of things. And one common question that we get asked is if it wasn't for the YouTube income and all the other sources of income that are tied to that YouTube exposure, could we still be a husband and wife full-time reselling team? And the answer is yes, for two reasons. The first being the fact that we just don't require a lot of money to live off of. We could maintain our current lifestyle as it is right now for about $3,000 per month, which this past weekend on eBay, you know, 100 bucks a day times 30 days in a month, that's about $3,000 per month. It would be a little a little tight, but then again, if we didn't have the YouTube side of things, that would free up about 40 to 50 hours per week that we could both then focus more on the reselling side of things. So it's certainly possible, you know, if I something happened and I lost the YouTube channel tomorrow, I would probably pursue another YouTube channel, but I wouldn't be worried about income because I know that the reselling income is there. Again, that's because... I'm confident that we can make between three and five thousand dollars per month with reselling. If you are somebody that needs, you know, fifteen or twenty thousand dollars per month in income just to maintain your lifestyle, you may want to supplement reselling with something else a little bit. I, I, you know, we've chosen to supplement reselling with the YouTube side of things. We have the YouTube AdSense income. We have the sponsorship income. We have uh, Amazon affiliate income. There's multiple streams of income coming into the business, uh, and I, I never wanted to have reselling be the only form of income for me. I knew that um, you know, if I had to, if I was put into a position to, to force that to work, I could make it happen. But as long as I have the freedom and the opportunities to add other sources of income into our business, I'm always going to pursue those. So I think if you're somebody that you know, maybe you lost your job or you, you just want to start a full-time reselling business, I, I think it would be a good idea to have something that supplements that until you get really good at reselling, especially if you need a lot of money to live off of. So like you could resell in the daytime and maybe drive for Uber at night, or you can resell at night and I don't know, be a, a substitute teacher or bus driver or something in, in the daytime. Maybe something like that will give you some health insurance benefits. Um, but again, I'm just trying to be fully transparent with you guys. Like, Reselling is incredible. I absolutely love it. I have a huge passion for it, but I also have a passion for YouTube and editing videos and I love, you know, connecting with you guys in the comments. But even though this is an absolute dream job for me, it can still sometimes feel like a job. Like to be honest, I, I recently took a day off. We didn't post a video last Sunday and that was really nice to, just to be able to, you know, and enjoy each other. My Haley, Haley um, my wife got back from church camp and we just wanted to hang out with each other uh, over the weekend and just not worry about posting a new video. Even though I love making videos and I love reselling, you know, we went thrifting today. I found this set of golf clubs. Well, Callaway, Big Bertha set of golf clubs for like $15 at Goodwill. It was awesome, but but I didn't take my camera with me to film because sometimes I just want to thrift with Haley and enjoy the, you know, the process of, of finding the deals without worrying about turning the camera on and how much battery does my GoPro have and, and all those other outside effects. So I'm, I've been taking it easy this week and it just to be honest and transparent with you guys, it's been really nice. We're going to get back in it full force um, pretty quickly, uh, but... Again, this is a dream job for me, reselling YouTube. It's the best thing in the world. I, I wouldn't trade it for a thing, but um, it is a job. It feels like it sometimes. Shout out FedEx guy. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. That's fine. Yeah, you too. Shout out American, American Bubble Boy. Bubble Wrap. Link in the description. I think what I'm trying to say is I just really enjoy having the two aspects to our business, the YouTube and the reselling side, because I have a huge passion for both of those. I love reselling, I love creating YouTube content, but if you focus too much on one of those, 
it can feel too much like a job sometimes. And I don't want to pursue these things so hard that I lose the enjoyment factor, if that makes sense. So like last week was a really hard, not hard, a really strong week for YouTube. Like we did three videos, each one was taking me, you know, five, six, seven hours to edit, but they all performed really well. Last week was a really strong week for us on YouTube. But then Sunday rolled around and I'm like, Haley, I've spent so much time on YouTube this week and I just, I'd rather skip an upload rather than upload a video that I'm not passionate about, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm rambling. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it at all, take a couple seconds and hit that like button for us down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well. Thank you again for watching. You're the best. And we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>